Now, if you really want to make this an award-winning strategy, I'm going to suggest that, okay, once you've made this habit of starting already, you know, these initial low-ticket, cheap, but not nasty products, that you begin working on your back-end first level. Listen here, this is important. First level. Remember I spoke about the different pricing points for, uh, for the back-end? Do you remember I talked about that just a little while back? Well, this is going to be the OTO coming up. But how do we decide what it should be? Well, we ask our buyers. From the previous slide, you're building up a customer list every week, every fortnight. You're releasing a low-ticket product just to build up a small-ticket buyer's list. Then ask them, not the people who haven't purchased, but ask them, the people who have purchased, what it is that they want. And then use that as the foundation for your back-end first level offer okay and you should price it three to four times that of the original price which means if it's a seven dollar original price and oh, gee I hope you don't try and sell stuff for seven dollars please don't appear so desperate have some credibility have some integrity within yourself seventeen dollars minimum absolute minimum for your low ticket entry product. Show some courage that you believe in the quality of your products. And then write the sales copy to make your customers believe in it as well. That's important. But let's just work in round numbers. $10 product, your first level back end is gonna be $30 to $40. You with me? Three to four times the value of that original purchase. Then you launch that first level back end to your existing list. Oh, but Paul, what if I only have 30 people? That's fine. Launch it, test it, market it, sell it. It's the back end. It's the first level back end that you know you actually have there. And then of course you plug it in as the OTO for any future front end offers. The front end being that low ticket one. Y you following me on this? But this is a business model for sales that works. Not just in online marketing, but in all different areas. And that's what I want you to see. These are tried and tested, proven methods of success. Once you've got that front end OTO in place, then you need to start working on your back end.